The internet. Love it or hate it, it is one of the most important defining aspects of modern day society. We rely on access to the internet almost every second of every day. But what happens if access to the internet was suddenly restricted? That could be happening right now. The Federal Communications Commission may have just killed the internet by voting to repeal net neutrality. Which means that internet service providers will start charging you extra to stream TV and movies, use YouTube as well as social media. If the US Congress votes to kill net neutrality, they could effectively kill the internet as we know it and we will enter into a new age. What will that age look like? Today on Life's Biggest Questions, we ask, what if the internet was destroyed? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. Net neutrality is an Obama administration rule that made it so that all traffic on the internet is treated equally. It's how we experience the internet right now, at the speed that we pay for it every month at an already high cost, I might add. But getting rid of net neutrality will allow internet service providers to limit access to some websites, as well as slow down the internet to access certain content. Much in the way you have to pay for certain TV channel bundles, you will have to pay for bundles of specific internet services and apps. The new regulations will allow companies like Comcast and Verizon to charge extra to watch 4K content. That includes Netflix and Hulu. Not everyone can afford to pay extra to watch Netflix, so maybe this will mean that Netflix won't be as popular anymore. The problem with Netflix losing viewership is much of the amazing content that is created for Netflix could lose its funding. Less and less original shows and movies will be produced because there are less and less people streaming. For those of you who think that net neutrality is an American issue, it's not just the United States that will be affected by its repeal. The entire world will be. Google, Amazon, Netflix, Microsoft, Apple, and Facebook are are all from the United States. If internet service providers charge them extra, we, the consumers, are going to have to pay for that cost. Okay, so you're not going to be able to access social media and stream 4K content, so what? Lots of countries like Spain are already charging extra for internet bundles and they're doing okay. The world might not change all that much. Well, unfortunately, it's not just your ability to access social media and Netflix that's going to be affected by ending net neutrality. There are some experts that say that ending net neutrality could affect research, especially scientific research, in a very profound way. Here's how. According to the former president of the American Meteorological Society, the AMS depends on access to data and the sharing of information. For example, data is taken from telescopes in Chile and is sent to physicists in Europe. And because of how much data is sent, terabytes upon terabytes, that data could take forever to send. At the same time, students who need to access the internet for research won't be able to in the same way they are now. Imagine trying to finish a paper for school, but it's taking forever to load the information you need. Students might even have to pay extra to access certain video content in order to finish school projects. Repealing net neutrality can also be extremely problematic when it comes to assessing weather information that's gathered by satellites, radar, and forecast models. Weather information is exchanged through the internet. 60% of Americans get their weather information from the internet, smartphones, or streaming services. ISPs will have the power to slow down the access to this information. That could pose very serious danger whenever there's an extreme weather warning. Poorer people who can't afford to pay for faster internet service will be most affected by this. Imagine not being able to know on the fly when there's a tornado warning. Maybe destroying the internet as we know it wouldn't be all bad. Perhaps if we all had to pay to use certain services, more and more people would get off their computers and phones and experience life firsthand again. Coffee shops and restaurants could become overrun with freelancers and students who are trying to use the free Wi-Fi, and people will gather to share information the way they did during the age of the Enlightenment. But then again, maybe all those public spaces that offer free internet won't even do that anymore. The fight is far from over. You can prevent all of this from happening by visiting visiting battlefornet.com and writing the US Congress. For now, I'm Charlotte Dobre for Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out our playlist Biggest What Ifs, clickable on the screen right now. Don't forget to click the bell so you never miss an upload.